Hello, and welcome to Let's Make a Top-Down Shooter. This video is about applying damage to our recently created health attribute, and we do this with a gameplay effect. And applying changes to attributes is both their most basic use and what you're going to use them for like 90% of the time. First thing we're going to do is start with adding a function that will get called anytime the health attribute changes value. So this on health attribute change is the function in question. That function will basically be calling on health changed, and on health change is a blueprint implementable event. And to set up that to be called, we go into begin play. So here, since we don't actually own the health set, it's owned by the player state. We're going to get that from the TDS player state that we created. Make sure that it's valid. Uh, we're just getting the health set from the PS health set. Then we're calling ability system components get gameplay attribute value change delegate. It's a mouthful. We're sending along the health sets get health attribute, and we're adding the call to on health attribute changed. So this is red because I did not include it. Let me just do that. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be picky here and just change these back to quotes. And with that, I can also just right click this one at this function, and this is just calling on health changed with data old value, data new value. Compile that. <laughs> when I made that edit, I did not delete that. Right, watch the editor. So in the gas effects folder, I'm going to create another gameplay effect. Call this GE damage. And all this is, it's an instant gameplay effect with a modifier that just changes health by negative five. To apply that to the player, I'm first going to add the on health changed event. So with that, I'm just going to print throw an append in here. Add a pin. And it's just going to show the old and new values. So with the enhanced input system, you can still do something like this. Type your uh, the name of your input action. So I'll do a weapon fire. And it gives you this nice event. In this case, because weapon fire is left mouse button, started will be left mouse, mouse button down. I don't want to drag that. I want get ability system component. Apply gameplay effect to self. We just choose our GE damage. Now when I click, I'm losing five health and it's just being printed out. So that's handy if you want to make a gameplay effect that just does a static amount of damage. However, most of the time you're going to be applying damage through a weapon or ability or something else. And in that case, we want to switch our calculation type 
from scalable float to set by caller. And in here, you're going to use a data tag. So Unreal 5.3 changes window slightly. It was a little more direct to add a tag previously. Now we want to hit this. We're going to type in the name of our tag. We call this damage type of, and set by caller. And a source is required. So the source default is just this INI file. So I can click the add new tag here and then select it. That means that in here we can no longer use apply gameplay effect to self. We want to use apply gameplay effect spec to self. And we're going to build that spec by calling make outgoing spec. We again select our gameplay effect. And then from here, assign a tag set by caller magnitude. We choose the tag we selected, which is damage dot set by caller. And we set the value here. We'll set this one to negative 10. And of course, need to drag in the spec handle. So now when I do the weapon fire, it's 10 damage. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video and would like to see more, you know what to do. And if you would like to support this channel or you just want to download the project files, you could do so through my Patreon linked below.